the Phantom C1 upgraded tire. Hey everybody, I am Carson Hardy and today we are looking at the Phantom C1. Now specifically in this video we are going to be talking about your rear tire. Now I went somewhere I probably shouldn't have and you probably have too. And in turn you've got a flat tire, you've tried pumping it up to the recommended 36 PSI and it's just still deflating say overnight. Today we're going to diagnose that, we're going to show what tools to use and of course what to use and how to do it so we can get back on the road. Let's hop on to it. This is the third time we're doing this and the reason I made this video is so you don't have to spend three days doing it either. Your inner tube got a hole in it you want to replace it. That's what this video is about. So you want to toss that old one out. You want to buy one, but you want to make sure you don't buy one with a straight tube. You want an angled one. So I actually have a link down below for Amazon. I couldn't find anyone at a local store, so definitely going to need that first. So I went ahead and ordered them. I got a two pack. Pretty good deal. We're not actually littering here. We'll clean those up. But anyway, you do want to make sure you get this angled head because the motor is in the way no matter what. So make sure you have that where you can't pump it up essentially. Now I'm kind of taking the initiative and instead of replacing just the inner tube, I'm actually replacing the tire as well. So this is your standard Phantom C1 scooter tire. It's a 12 and a half inch diameter and then its width is two and a half or two and a quarter inches <laughs> playing camera at a perfect time 12 and a half by a two and a quarter inch tire um, I found these at my local store I actually recommend you buying these locally because I got a really good deal these were only three dollars and fifty cents normally priced at I think fifteen dollars Now I have two scooters, so I decided to actually buy four of them because I bought four for the price of what was one. You can actually see it right there. Killer deal. So Walmart, big thanks. This is not a sponsor. <laughs> Disconnect the braking system from the frame. We're using a size five Allen head for this Now we're going to start on disconnecting the whole wheel assembly from the frame. What I've done so far is I had, you know, taken it off the tire, which was the hardest part. We're going to go ahead and put the inner tube inside of the tire um, just make sure it's you know straight when it's in there I'm not inflating it yet I'm going to get the rim set up so I can push that through and then what you want is the tire to be underneath kind of the opposite of what we just did to take it off be much easier to put on I hope. Now gonna have Bree assist with this one. I got it off last time. <laughs> hey, <team effort. laughs> I got it off. I did it. <laughs> Would you say that was much easier than taking it off? Yes, a hundred percent. Thanks again. You're welcome. <laughs> now let's see if I remember how to do all this. It's been many days. And thankfully you're watching this in one take. Well, one video. Let's hop on. Go ahead. Wow, where'd that come from? Thankfully we've got it as a reference. 
I remember correctly, we did use tools to take them off. We're gonna have to use this to also put it on. <laughs> I think I used a different tool bag. This is what I needed. This is the left side where your brakes are gonna be. These are to put the brakes in. And this is gonna be your right side. And the frame is gonna be in between there and here. The threads on this are actually flattened. So it can slide in there, kinda of like an oval shape. So you just kinda of line it up right. And it should slide right in. Just make sure you're looking at your bottom part. And then there we are. Although we're not done. We need to put these two pieces in the inside before we do so. And they're gonna go like this. I'll also need to put one on the other side. It might be easier if we actually flip the scooter upside down. Put it on the brake and then slide it down. Until you can see through it. It tied on both sides. And then I'm gonna go back and give it a good one, two. I can probably go a little more on this one. Like I said, you wanna make sure these things are tight. One, two. Last but not least, one, two. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it off next time. That's how you want it. You know, tight. Phantom C1 upgraded tire. Get yours today. <laughs> Not sponsored by Bell, but sponsored by this Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Please hit that like button. Comment down below what your thoughts were and what you want to see next. We have scooter adventures in store for you. So make sure to explore more. It's been Carson Hardy. Peace! Yeah, it's probably almost dead. How's it feel to finally scoot again? Good. Teamwork. Make dream work! <laughs> nice. And I'm going to bed! And take two on not a litter bug. Did you get that? Yep.